In this video, I'm going to show yet another way to stage git commits within Vim using the Vim Fugitive plugin. Now, in the very first video, which you can see embedded in here, I walked through how I stage commits in my preferred way using the git patch interactive workflow. And then some commenters mentioned that there is another way to do it, which is to open up a side-by-side -side diff view of the changes and to selectively push changes from the right side into the left side, which is a way of staging them. And now in this video, which you are watching, um, we're having a little bit of a YouTube inception here as we get into a th third layer. Um, we had another commenter suggest that I use the equal sign to expand an inline diff and then S to uh, stage. And then there's also U, which I can use to unstage. So, Let's take a look at that. I'm going to run GE colon to open up the git summary area, and we'll see that I've got some unstaged changes here on line 12. So if I were to press the equal sign, that is going to expand the diff in line here. I'm still in the git summary area, but I can see the changes that are waiting to be staged. So I can select these and I can press S which that's going to move them into the staged area, which is collapsed, but is on line 32 here. And if I wanted to see both sides of this, I could press equal here to open that up and see that that's what was added. Now, the next bit I want to add is right here. So I'll hit S on that single line and it gets pushed down here as well. And then this last bit, I don't want to include in my stage changes. So I'm going to leave it as is. I could even hit equals here to then collapse that again. And uh, things look good. And I can go ahead with my commit now. Just to show off a bit further, if I decide that um, these changes to the readme that I've now staged, I no longer um, want them staged, I can hit U to unstage them and they'll all go back into the unstaged area. Or with my cursor on this unstaged change, I could hit S and they'll all go into the staged area. I can press equal over this stage readme file and it'll expand everything. Again, I'm kind of reiterating some things that I've talked about, but I just want to show the full breadth of what we can do. And as I said before, I didn't want these change, changes staged, so I'm going to highlight them and hit U to unstage them. Now I've got what I want staged and I can move on. And again, I'm going to use my sort of preferred method of hitting CVC, which opens up a window for my commit message. The, CV, the V part in the CVC is saying do it in verbose mode, which is what puts the diff visually down here. I can go ahead and add my commit message. And then go ahead and save that with colon WQ. It drops me back in here and I have this unpushed change and that's kind of it. Thanks for watching this. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below leave any comments, especially if you know if there's a fourth way that we can stage changes uh, within Vim. But otherwise, that's it until the next one.